Hello, I'm Philip Cargon. Welcome to Tea with Philip. <laughs> Actually, I'm not Philip Cargon at all, am I? I am Dave. Uh, Philip is away traveling. Hello, joined. Oh, people are joining. This is fantastic. Hello, everybody. Um, Philip is away traveling at the moment, so I've said I step into his shoes and uh, run this evening's Tea with Philip. But it's not tea with Philip. <laughs> I love all those little, lovely little things. Oh, that's so nice. That's not nice. Now, um, oh, hello. Good. I can see your, I can see your, um, your messages. Hello there. Um, all these lovely little hearts. Oh, hello, good buddy. So I'm doing tea with Philip tonight, except it's not tea with Philip. It is coffee with Dave. Cheers, everybody. Nice, nice vanilla latte I think I've got here. Mm. So, where, look at all these people. Oh, my God, I'm going to have to put these on. Excuse me. Hello, I'm Dave the Bard. <laughs> Coffee. Hello from Michigan. Hello, everyone. Portugal, Italy. This is incredible. Vienna. Oh, Canada. <laughs> it's not a bad mug. I'll tell you where I got this. I got this at the uh, Celts exhibition at the British Museum. It's rather tasty, isn't it? I've got to say. Yeah. <laughs> so some of you may be wondering what's going on. I have said it before, but um, less of you are online now. I've got quite a few online now. So Philip is traveling. And so he has asked me to do this week's tea with Philip, but it's coffee with Dave. So looking at everybody gathering here um this is fantastic wow worthing there we are someone local that's awesome argentina fantastic staten island yes oh hello marina <laughs> <laughs> i haven't done many of these the only the, the, i did this once before when i launched my mabinogi album live and i thought wouldn't it be a brilliant idea to launch it live so i pressed the live button on my phone and i said i've got an amazing thing happening i went to some of you might have even been there i went to launch the album and it didn't work so this is uh this is um this is my my previous experience of live facebook hasn't been amazing so anyway hundred over this is fantastic well welcome everybody so we're all around the world here and what I what Philip normally does and what I think is a great idea is if we just tune in with each other wherever we are everywhere from Worthing <laughs> right the way to Staten Island New York to Argentina Canada Nebraska all over the place just become aware of all of you people watching in and tuning into this and maybe the first thing we can do is to to take some breaths together take some breaths together we do this up the hill at the long man of wilmington and so um i know some of you only just tuned in you might be rushing around with a cup of tea i wish i could see you all as well that'd be awesome am i coming through loud and clear that's what i would like to ask yes is it okay is the internet connection all right have i gone all psychedelic like i sometimes see Philip's video happening. Mm. Hello. It all looks good. It all looks good. Oh, wow. Loud and clear. Wow, there's loads. Right, brilliant. Because what I'd like to do later, I've got my guitar here. I'm going to play you a song or two later live and sometimes I know that can be a little dodgy so uh, so there we are so let's um, let's take some breaths before we start and so imagine reaching out around the earth with your hands imagine reaching out holding on to the hands of somebody in a completely different country on a on another piece of rock sticking out from whatever sea that you're upon 
Imagine us all holding hands around the world right now. And when you've got that sensation, let's take a long, slow breath together with the earth beneath our feet. And a long, slow breath with the sky above us. And a long, slow breath with the seas and rivers that either surround where you live or run through the land upon which you sit or stand wherever you are in the world. Spirits of this circle, spirits of the earth, ancestors and guides, of the order of bards, ovates and druids. We ask for your blessings, your guidance and your inspiration on this time spent together. May there be peace in the north. May there be peace in the south. May there be peace in the west. May there be peace in the East. May there be peace throughout the whole world. Something that you might want to see as well, um, that I have here, twice a year in Glastonbury, in the town hall, I unsheath the sword of the order. Um, I have the order sword here with me in my house and I wondered if some of you might like to see it. So I'll just go and grab it. This is the order's sword. It was passed to me by Will Worthington. And at the end, uh, it's got a beautiful leather baldric, I think it's called. And uh, in Glastonbury, I just draw it slightly. Say, so behold this, our order's sword, drawn from the lake of still meditation and returned to it again, ever sharp and ever with us should our lake be stilled. So there you go, that's the order sword. So how about if you um, are a listener to Druidcast or if you've heard my music or anything like that, um, why not? Throw me a question if you want. I'll try and answer anything you say. Look at all of you people commenting and everything. It's amazing. So if you've got a question um, about the order, about how I feel about Druidry, because don't forget, this is, I, you know, my uh, <laughs> magnificent sword, it is. Cheers from Michigan. I am the Lady of the Lake. Beautiful sword. Have you always such a great had a, such a great voice, Rebecca? That's an interesting one. I'll be quite honest here. When I was at school, um, my uh, music teacher did something to me that made me very self-conscious of my voice for years and years and years. Um, me and a friend were putting on a little performance. I guess we must have been about twelve something like that 
and we were performing this thing to the school. I was playing guitar and singing and Mark, my friend, was singing with me. And we performed our piece and in front of the head of music, Mr. Treble. That always makes me laugh a little bit. Mr. Treble was the head of music and Mr. Evans, Evans the tune, we used to call him. And, um, and it, after the performance, he rushed up to Mark and shook his hand and he said, well done, Mark. That was beautifully sung. Beautiful, beautiful. And I said, and how about me? Did I, did I do well? And he said, Dave, anybody can, any, anybody can sing through their nose and walked off. And it's amazing the power that teachers have in our lives, isn't it? Because this was an adult. This was someone that I looked up to. And I remember that absolutely here and now like it was yesterday. And so for years and years and years, I, I found it very hard to listen to my voice singing. And it was only probably in um, 2008 when I launched and released The Cauldron Born that I exorcised Mr. Treble from my uh, from my memory, you know, and I, I, I accept accepted my voice for what it is. It's not perfect. It's a voice and I no longer um, or no, I no longer disliked it, but it took a long time. I mean, 2008, right the way, probably from 1980. Oh, no, 1970 something. <laughs> 1970 something. So there you go. So, uh, so yes, I, 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 ha I don't know if I've always had a good voice because in my opinion, I didn't like it for many, many years, but, um, there we go. So, but he's gone now anyway. <laughs> Would love to hear you play. Are you a songwriter too? Ah, you are very welcome here because you have obviously not heard my music. So hopefully you'll like it. <laughs> There's an independent program. You inspired me to play music. Wow. How did you begin my path? That's, that's a good question. Um, my, I, my introduction to all of this was probably uh, it was probably magic. I was I was a typical teenager. My room was black. My duvet was black. My pillows were black. I wore black. Um, I never pulled the black look off like a proper goth, though, because I had blonde hair. Um, so I just ended up looking like a pint of Guinness with like, a black bit and a white bit on the top, you know. But uh, but I had that kind of you know, yeah, teenage attitude. And one of the things I looked for, like probably many teenage witches back in the day of Buffy and all that kind of stuff was, was magic. I, um, I really did look for magic. I was born in Cornwall, way down in the Southwest Peninsula of the United Kingdom, place full of magic and uh, stone circles, fugus, legends of King Arthur. I mean, Tintagel, Boss Castle, you know, it, the place is a magical place. Um, so, my route into this was magic. It was magic at first, and it was through magic um, that I found the spiritual side of things uh, within Druidry. And to me now, magic and Druidry are absolutely uh, one and the same. You know, you can't separate the two, in my opinion. Um, so there you go. So, so it was really through magic. Um, I was a ceremonial magician for many years in a hermetic magic lodge and i found myself if i'm honest um yearning for something with a little bit more earth in it uh, the hermetic magic and the ceremonial magic was very high very highbrow very you know ooh, um, and what i wanted was something more ooh, down there down in the earth um and so i looked at wicca i looked at the craft i looked at the norse traditions and things like that and then i sent off a stamp I sent off a stamp. I mean, the internet wasn't around at the time. I saw a little advert in a com in a magazine called Prediction, and uh, and it said interested in green spirituality. Well, if you are, you might be interested in the work of the Druids. And I just thought Druids. Well, I'll send off for it. But you know, blokes at Stonehenge, white wellies, all that stuff. You know, wasn't really. I didn't really think they existed. 
and then it and then it came through and it was the obod introductory leaflet and as i read it like many of you i'm sure it felt like i'd come home it felt like i was reading words that i could have written myself that were from my very soul and so i sent off for the obod course and the rest well that's it history you know there we go antler crown and standing stone the most spiritual spirit-filled song i've ever heard well you'll hear it in a minute i'm going to play that one for you i think if that's all right with you so do you want to hear? let's have a song let's have a song you all right i hope the internet connection is okay it's uh it can be dodgy can't it really with um but anyway this is for you <laughs> face in the leaves I'm the voice within the trees I am boy I am man the face of the changing land I have been your constant guide from your caves on the mountainside we have walked hand in and everywhere that I have been, my passing turns the grey to green, the birds sing to the dawn, and the land has woken, oh my lady lays with me, and our love weaves a tapestry, eternal threads, unbroken. I am lover, I am father, I am born a god and king, I'm the life in all of nature, that is reborn every spring. Called of stag and cry people. I am child of Barleycorn, and I am the antler crown and standing stone. Queen, a 
Through the wind and snow and rain, know that a part of me remains. Holly stands every I am lover, I am father, I am honored God and King, I am the life in all of nature, that is reborn every spring, full of stag and prime I am child of Polycorn, and I am the anchor crown. I'm standing in store Standing in I hope that was all right. <laughs> I'm going to have some coffee with Dave now. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. So let's have um, another question. If you want to ask another question, by all means. Do you like that? <laughs> I am the antler crown and standing stone. You may have noticed, okay, the order of bards, ovates and druids has a wide, wide um, group of people with very, very different beliefs, very different feelings, um, very different ways of looking at the world. As you know, there are there are pagan druids, there are Christian druids, we know bard and stuff like that. Me, you know, my heart is within paganism. Um, and so... <clears throat> So that's that's where I bring my druidry from is from the old myths of Albion and um, and the land and the stories and things like that. And when I first came to 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 the pagan druid path, if you like, um, I was still kind of interested in in in, in Wicca and the craft and stuff like that. And I went to a, a Wiccan camp, first Wiccan camp I went to. And um, yeah, I heard everyone joining too, all around the world. <laughs> I bet that would have been amazing. I would have loved to have been with you in all of your rooms, in anything, you know, as well as being on your screen. <laughs> um, so I went to the I went to the fireside, and I sat there by the fire, and I heard these chants. We all come from the goddess, lady. Spin, spin your circle, bright, beautiful, under the stars. I mean, it's just wonderful, wonderful. And that was, it was a seven day camp. And the the next night, went back to the campfire. I sat there and I heard these chants. We all come from the goddess, lady. Spin your circle, bright, all like that. This is wonderful. Third Wednesday came along, went to the campfire sang these chants we all come from the goddess lady spin your circle bright and by thursday i have to say i was thinking to myself we really need some songs you know the chants are wonderful but we need some kind of community songs that we can share and if and i didn't know about woody and penderwin at the time one of your great bards in america i'd never heard of his stuff um but there was uh, Silver on the Tree were around at the time. There was a band called Heathens All that were around on the time. But other than that, there wasn't this overtly kind of pagan bardic music. Uh, well, if it isn't there, I'll write it. And that's all it was. That was all this stuff came from. But what I also noticed was quite a lack of songs about, quite a lot of songs. There wasn't much about him. There wasn't much. There weren't many chants. There weren't. There was just wasn't a lot. It was like in the mythology that was around at the time. He turned up, met at Beltane, uh, got cut down at Lunasur, and went back to the other world. And that was pretty much all it was. And I thought, you know what? He 
he he needs some loving too um so you will find a lot of my songs and the crown and standing stone are addressing like the male principle the, the kind of sacred male um because it it, it does need it does need nurturing as well it, it, you know it does so that's it green and gray um and the crown and standing stone noon the solstice um that's where these things come from yes he's he's my man too absolutely uh yes uh the american singer it was gwydion penderwin was his name and he he unfortunately passed away <coughs> in a car accident in the 80s i think it was um but if you if you have uh, a song if you have um my cauldron born album um in honor of gwydion i covered one of his songs and and some of you may not know it's one of his songs because in this age of digital stuff where people don't have sleeve notes and stuff like that you you may assume it's one of my songs but lunasa dance on the cauldron born is a cover of a song written by gwydion pendo and in honor of him and i couldn't find out where to send the royalty money but i found that he has a uh, a, a like a a commune i think it's called anun or anuvan in the states and and one of his wives was there so i sent her the money that would have gone to gwydion for the use of his song so there we go gwydion tell and pendo and he was amazing uh, um he part he paved the way for uh lord yes gwydion's lord of the dance he paved the way for many of us modern bards and um and wow if my songs are being sung in you know 30 years time or whatever around campfires like his is i will be a very 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 happy bard and feel like uh, i've left something behind so one more question i've been i've, I've probably been on here longer than philip uh, i think is normally on it says 27 minutes um how about one more question do you have another question that is fantastic green and burning tree songbook keep strumming keep strumming play those songs <laughs> no, don't go hello reg hello uh we meet down at glastonbury we aren't watching the time <laughs> you really <sighs> do you want another song then one more song and then i'll have to go okay here we go let's have a go okay now i don't know if you've had this problem but i've felt ill all year i've had throat problems and stuff like that so um i'll do my best for you the show must go on right you are the rock and you are the stone rivers your blood Mountains your bone You are the source Of all I'll ever know Forever my mother Forever my home Oh this town is so cold Neon magicians, they offer the fools their gold For there is somewhere I'd rather be In your wild places with the land and the sky and the sea
every step follows those gone before mystics and saints down to the shore echoing waves and the curlew's cry I call out your name I hear your reply I hear your reply, come on, sing with me Oh, this town is so cold Neon magicians, they offer the fools their gold For there is somewhere I'd rather be In the land and the sky and the sea Cynical thoughts And lies that distort All that is true All that is true They disappear when I feel that you're near, when I'm with you, when I'm with you. just meant. But it would be amazing to think of all of you lot all around the world in your rooms singing along to this tune. So let's just do it, shall we? You ready? Thank you very much everybody from my little studio here to you all around the world that was coffee with dave cheers normal service will be resumed next week you never know i might hop in again one day and uh, and do another coffee with dave so, blessed be everybody. I'll see you again along the road from me here. Bye -de bye. <laughs> More coffee with that. I don't want to go, to be honest with you. This is such fun, but I really have got to. So, <laughs> bye. Bye bye bye. <laughs>